This is day three of the 2000 mile road trip from the Timor house to Unspeakable's Island House. We have been on the road driving in the Timor limo for the last 48 hours straight. Our last stop was at Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and we had a blast riding all of the awesome roller coasters. Now it's time to finish the trip, make it down to Key West, Florida, and deliver Unspeakable his chicken nuggets. Uh, can we stop soon? I have to pee. Yeah. <laughs> We've been on the road for like 30 minutes. Liz, this is our longest leg. Don't you don't have to pee. I do have to pee because one of the best parts of the limo is we got cup holders. We have, I got a coffee, I got a water. We have some other amazing drinks and snacks. It's awesome. And, and just all cozy in a blanket. I don't have to pee. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing the limo is missing is it doesn't have a bathroom. And, you know, I'm not going to use a bottle, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. The first thing I want to do when we get to Unspeakable's Island House is put the jet boat in the water and rip it around out there in the keys. It's going to be up there. The first thing I'm going to do when I get to Unspeakable House is probably say hi to Nathan and maybe give him a hug because I missed him. I'm super excited to get to Nathan's house because it's a new house and you guys have not seen this one before so I'm super excited to see it and take you guys on a little house tour. We're making a quick stop and as soon as we got out someone's like, hey Carter, is that you? I'm like, yeah, what's up? They want to take a photo. Awesome. Right. Team car, let's go. So strong. Oh my gosh, team our fans are literally everywhere in the state of Florida. I love you guys. Yeah, what's up? You want to take a photo? Yeah, definitely. Perfect. All right, All right. All right. thanks guys. You too. Team Rar, baby, let's go. All aboard, Captain Matt. All right. Liz, what are you even doing? Nothing. I'm just gonna be over here. What is that? What do you mean? Why does it look like you're building some kind of lounge? It's just nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, sport cabana from Bucky's? Hang on. This is like a tent. Liz, that's not gonna fit in here. That thing is about to explode in here. Careful, Liz. Carter, I know what I'm doing here, okay? This is perfect. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to be doing this on the road, but this is ridiculous. We still have like six hours of driving left. I don't know if we can handle this. Well, that's why you need to create Honestly, the more separation we get from her, the better. So. Liz, this thing is huge. What are you doing? I'm literally getting squished. There's no way this fits. This is so annoying. This is not a girl's lounge. This is literally just a tent you bought. I just hope she doesn't scratch the window. What do you mean the window? I'm over here struggling. I'm stuck. I'm scratching our limo tent. Oh my gosh. And I'm all done. Liz, this thing is insane. I can't believe you actually got this to work, but it's literally taking up half the limo. Liz? What? I can't hear you. Liz, what are you even doing back there? What the heck? Is this even a real girls' lounge? Look at this shirt I got. I know you guys like making fun of me because I build girls' lounges everywhere I go, but this one's a Bucky's lounge, so you really can't make fun of me this time. Welcome to my Bucky's lounge. Over here, you have this snack corner, and then over here, you have your t-shirt corner. I have but I also have my handy dandy switch. Comment down below, hashtag Lizzie's Lounge. Yo, you wanna say hi? We are getting close, guys. We are about an hour away. We're starting to hit some traffic. The problem is, is the limo might overheat and we might break her down. How are we doing, Matt? Hot, really hot. This is when we're gonna get even hotter. Now we're in the traffic. If that temperature gauge goes over 120 and it's basically there, we're gonna have to pull over or this thing might just burn up on us. And sure enough, Liz is sleeping again. Good night, Liz. I'll wake you up when we get to Unspeakables. Later. Liz, how far away are we? Five minutes. We're Five minutes one away. Mile. One mile away. Oh my gosh, guys, we've traveled literally hundreds of miles. It's been almost 50 hours of road tripping and we are now five minutes away and one mile. I have to pee. Excited? Yes. Almost there. <laughs> so excited you can't get to me. <laughs> yeah. Are we almost there yet? Yeah. Are we there yet? No. Aww. I can see boats. There is literally boats everywhere. Oh my gosh, are we here? Wait, this is it? We're here. Oh. Unspeakable, we're coming for you. Oh my gosh, stretching my legs. It feels so good. We made it. The whole way there. No, I didn't. That was just the oh, smell of the island. Stop. I didn't do it. I didn't, do it. I didn't actually. Play. Oh my gosh. It's the sea sponge. Oh my gosh. Ashley's here. We drove all this way just to find Ashley. 
<laughs> we were looking for unspeakable. Oh my gosh, this got a rooftop deck. Whoa, we got ocean view. And you guys are probably thinking, where is unspeakable? Well, this actually isn't his house. This is an Airbnb that we rented, so we'll have more space near his island house. Unspeakable's island house, which we need to get to today, I think is just past these houses there. We needed to take a boat to drive out there, and we're going there next. It's a good thing we brought a boat. It's right. crazy. I've been like watching out for a little bit now, like yeah. over six years. Yeah, we literally have fans staying next door and next next door. That's crazy. One of the challenges though is where do we park the limo? I mean, it's the length of a semi truck trailer basically. So, Ooh, man, that is a tight squeeze on the limo. Wow, it actually fits in here really nicely. Loading up, all right. Talk about a road trip turning into a boat trip. All aboard Liz, hop on, let's go. We're going on Speakable's Island. Bye. See you again. Liz, there it is. That's Unspeakable's Island straight ahead. I can't believe that's it. How do you even get onto it? It's crazy. Here we go to Unspeakable's. Woo! There it is, guys. I can see the house. Hang on. Whoa. Gosh, we're about to step foot onto the island. That's the mainland over there. We came from here to this tiny island, legit, just out in the ocean. And apparently they also own this island too. Other than that, it's just ocean. And just like that, guys, we are legit stranded on this island. There is no vehicle. There is no other boat other than like a kayak. And she is driving off to the mainland over there. That's the only way on and off the island. And she's driving away. <laughs> Oh, hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you guys. Guys, even when I'm stranded on an island, there are Team Rar fans literally everywhere. I love all you guys. I love literally each and every one of you. But as I was saying, this is it. I'm legit stranded on this island and there is no way to go on and off. And as it turns out, Nathan isn't even here. So our 50 hour road trip to his new island house, we actually beat him and he's not gonna be here for four hours. I'm literally stuck here with Liz. Carter, we've been hanging out way too much these past few days and I really think we need some space. On a private island out of all times? What are we gonna do? I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep. Well, there's literally nothing to do, and this place is completely off the grid, so no AC or electricity. There's no water. If we take a shower, we have to be like really careful. So if we run out of water, there's like a tank that feeds the house. It's just like it's empty. It's like showering under a bucket. We can't even flush the toilet unless you really need to, because if it runs out, we're out of water for the rest of the stay. Oh my. Let's yeah. go catch it. These things are crazy that oh they're just God. out here. Literally another guy climbed up a tree. I don't think I could live on this island. Like, I was so hyped that like I needed a private island, but like honestly, like I'm kind of over it already. There was a bug that flew my Oh, I found the dock. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at the sunset on this side. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. That's a barracuda right there, guys. They're dangerous. If they bite you, it can be really bad. Shark? Oh my gosh, it's legit a shark swimming by. Oh my gosh, it almost ate my face. Liz, I can't believe you just saw a shark. And we're supposed to be on this island for the next few days I'm living definitely here. Definitely not jumping in the water. I was just thinking about jumping in the water <laughs> of this beautiful sunset. No way, that's Andrew. That's definitely Andrew on the drone. I gotta call him. Let's see. I wonder if they saw us out here. Is that you? <laughs> Mass you yeah. Yeah, we you. Yes, we found him. No way. What the heck is that? What? These what waters are got all kinds of stuff. Look how long the tail is, Liz. The more I see, the more I'm starting to second guess if I want to go in the water because that is really sketchy. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful and it's warm, but there's a lot of stuff that calls this water home. Later. Oh my. I think that's them, guys. What took you guys so long? What's up? You finally made it. I've been here for hours and I drove. My plane got delayed by like eight hours. <laughs> it's literally crazy. Oh, wow. Is that not the biggest hermit crab you've ever seen here? They life? climb trees too. It's massive. Is Yo, that even a babies on it? Dude. Look at all the babies on it. No, you're lying. Yeah, right there in the back. <laughs> what? There's a snake. Oh my God, that was poisonous. All of these things that we're seeing are happening like within the, like 60 seconds. It's crazy. Wow, it's the corn snake again. Oh, it's the same guy. Whoa. Oh! Ah! Oh! Why would you do that? You're not coyote. <gasps> Look oh! at that! That's the world's biggest moth. That looks like a brown recluse, bro. Ew. Oh my god. Is that real? It's so thick that it's literally Dude, about to fall no. off. We did it guys, 50 hours and we finally made it to Unspeakable's house, yo! Oh, dude. Oh, man. I can't believe you're here. I you got know. the boat and everything.
Yeah. We brought the boat. The road trip was amazing, and we made it. Yeah, we did. Did you bring me the nuggets? The what? Chicken nuggets? Wait, do you have the nuggets? Chicken nuggets? We're supposed oh my gosh, we forgot them. The chicken nuggets? Oh, that was the whole reason. Dude, if you can't bring me nuggets, I can't let you on this island. Okay, we gotta go quick. All right, quick. Uh, nice. Let's see if we can get nuggets, quick. Hello? How may I help you? Can I place an order for pickup? Do you guys have chicken nuggets? Yeah, okay. We're gonna be about five minutes. Awesome. All right, we'll be right there. Thank you. Five minutes. Five minutes, you better hurry. We gotta get the chicken nuggets! No! as fast as we can but we just hit an no wake zone and these rapids look insane oh my god oh oh my god we might go under this is looking so sketchy oh my gosh hang on look at the bridge water this is scary this jet boat is so small that this is definitely not a good idea but we got to get chicken nuggets for unspeakable we got to get these nuggets i think this is it am i placed an order for some chicken nuggets I got the nuggets, now we just gotta make it back to the island and give these to Unspeakable. Start the boat, Andrew. We got them, let's go, let's go. Get ready for some rough rapids up ahead. We made it back. This is Unspeakable's island. We have the nuggets, time to deliver them. Look what I got for you, Nathan. This is your chicken nugget. I had to travel by boat to get these hold on, hold on. beautiful, fresh chicken nuggets. Oh, Look at that. Wow. Is that what you wanted? That is chicken. It only took 2,000 miles and 50 hours for me to get chicken nuggets to Nathan here on this private island. So uh, enjoy the nuggets. Oh, thanks, man.